This face? Don't be deceived. I don't exist. <laughs> Blessing made me from scratch and made me talk. She made plenty more like me. Let me show you. Normally, babies cry and laugh and make noise. But now, with AI, babies are talking on the internet. If you don't believe me, I'm one of those AI babies. <laughs> I wish this bike could ride me straight to America, because this country is not even smiling. Hi, Tortoise. Can we be friends? I hop, you walk. We'll be a cool team. In this life, no matter how life treating you, just make sure you eat well every day. Do you understand? Because food is very important in this life. Yesterday I was firewood. Today I'm a chatterbox. Be honest with me. If you see me talking in the bush, will you sit in just with me? I hope you enjoyed watching all those talking images that my mistress, Miss Blessing, made using simple AI tools. Now, come closer so that Miss Blessing will teach you how she was able to create all of us, including me, her favorite avatar. <laughs> I like to call myself that because I think I look like her. <laughs> now, Miss Blessing, over to you, please. So I'll be showing us three amazing AI tools you can use to make your images talk for free. These were the free tools I used to create all those videos you guys just watched. And I didn't have to subscribe to any of them, neither did I use my card. And I would also encourage us not to skip any part of this video so you don't miss out on some vital tips that can help you get the best out of these free tools. So I'll be starting with my sweetheart here, which is Daijen AI. You can go to your Play Store and download it. And I call it my sweetheart because they are so generous with their daily credits. Once you download it and then you log in with either your email account or your Google account, they will give you 300 credits to start with. With each talking video you generate, they deduct 30 credits. So in a day, you can generate as much as 10 talking videos from Daijen AI. And another good thing with this Daijen AI is that they give you credits every day and the credits accumulate. So if they give you 300 credits today and you don't get to use it, tomorrow they will still give you more credits that will add up to the 300 credits you already have. So the credits keep adding up and it can add up to the extent that in a day you can generate as much as 30 talking videos or even more depending on how long you've left it to accumulate. That is one great thing, like one sweet thing with this Daijen AI. So what you have to do is to first of all generate all your images i personally use chat gpt and meta ai and bing ai to generate all my images they give me very high quality images now after your images are ready you come to this digen ai now after you've logged into your digen ai this is what it will look like okay and then you click on create once you click on it it will open up this Space. and then you now click on this place that says aspect ratio because i'm creating for youtube i'm going to choose 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is down here so i'll just click on it and then click on crop and allow it to apply now once it finishes applying i will click on this box sign here so that it will bring me to my gallery for me to choose the image i want to animate and also want to make it to talk okay so once i'm in my gallery i will choose the image i really want to make talk the image we'll be using for the purpose of this tutorial is this chicken image I generated in my last tutorial. If you have not watched the tutorial, you can go and check it out. I'll link it in the description box or as one of the videos at the end of this video. So I generated this chicken with Meta AI and that chicken did not talk in that last video. But in this video, this chicken is going to talk. <laughs> Once I click on the chicken, it will just import into this Digen AI and you just have to allow it to load up to 100% and then the chicken becomes visible once the chicken is visible you will come down to this place that says talk you click on it and then it will bring you to this page now and you scroll up and then you come to this place that says lip motion you will turn it on okay now if you want to use the inbuilt voiceovers that they have here you can click on this uh, this place that there's aurora and then you choose all the different voiceovers that are available here and then you type in your your script and it to generate the voiceover but i don't like using the voiceovers they have here i prefer you know generating my own voiceovers in another voiceover generator either click champ or 11 labs or whichever one i'm using and then uploading it so if you have generated your voiceover somewhere you just click on this upload and then it will bring you to your phone and you select the voiceover that you have already generated so this is the voiceover i have generated let me play it and be sure that that is exactly the voiceover i want to import i'm a special type of okay so now that i'm sure that this is the voiceover i need i'll just select it 
and then it will bring me back to this page and i'll just allow it to upload so you'd have to allow it to upload once it finishes uploading this thing this place will become visible can you see i'm and a then special once type it's of chicken visible, click on the play button to play it and again so and be sure that because it is the correct voiceover you imported and after that you click on this good sign and then you are back to this page again and then the next thing we'll do is to put in our prompt to describe what we want our image to be doing so you just click on this place that there is prompt and it will bring you to this page where you type in your prompt but one thing i've discovered with this Daijin ai is that if you try to type in your prompt manually it will be giving you gibberish <laughs> so as a result of that i don't type in my prompts manually here what i do is that i will type in my prompt somewhere else maybe in my whatsapp or google docs or any place and then i'll just copy it and come and paste it directly here so you can do that as well so i'll just come here and paste my prompt that i've already typed somewhere that i copied okay then i'll just click on this good sign so once you are done with importing our voiceovers and then making sure that our prompt is imputed we'll just go ahead and click on generate video and then we'll wait for it to generate sometimes it can take up to five minutes or ten minutes to generate a video for you but you just have to be patient and wait for it to generate now our video is ready can you guys see when your video is generated sometimes when you try to download it directly it doesn't you know download directly or it doesn't even play the videos for you so what i usually do is that i close the digen app entirely and then open it afresh once i do that it will bring out this for me and then i'll just click on the last video i generated and it will bring out this for me and i don't need to wait for it to play inside the digen app i'll just click on download and wait for it to download once this success sign comes out it means that the video is now downloaded to your device or to your phone and then you just come to your phone gallery look for the video and then play it so let me play the video for you guys now i'm a special type of chicken a cute AI chicken, and I'm so happy because I can never be used as meat by humans. I feel so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys see this? Like, this is so cute. You guys, this is so beautiful. I love, love, love this. And this is made by 100% free tools. And this is not the only image I made talk using Digen AI. Most of those videos you guys watched at the beginning of this video, I actually generated them with this Digen AI. Now, we'll be going to my second sweetheart, which is Dreamface. You can also download Dreamface from your Google Play Store. And when you download it, you will have to log in with your either Gmail account or your Google account. And once you are done with that and you open the app, this is what it should look like. Now, this place that says talk and sing, you can use it to make your images, that is your animated images, to talk. And with it, you can generate as much as nine eight to nine talking images in a day okay and then this place that says image to video you can use it to animate a static image because with dream face you'd have to first of all convert your static image to video that is video that is moving but is not really talking and when you are done with that you now have to make the animated image now talk that is how this one works but with this image to video under dream face you can only animate only one image <laughs> you are not allowed to animate more than one image in a day if you want to animate more than one image in a day you'd have to go for their pro plan but once you have your animated images you can make them talk and you can make as many as seven or eight animated images talk so let's see how it works so i'll first of all click on this image to video because i want to first of all animate my image once i click on it it will open up this place for me you can see image to video add image i'll click on this add image and it will bring me to my gallery and i will choose the image i want to animate so once your image is here the next thing you will do is to click on this place that says add an image and describe your video you will click on it and type in a short prompt describing what you want your image to be doing after animation so for me what i typed in here is woman giving man apple and talking because that's basically the action i want to see in the image now once i'm done with that i'll just click on create in my own case here i've already animated one image before and because of that they're asking me to pay because you can only animate one image in a day so what i ended up doing was that i ended up animating this image in another ai tool and then making it talk here but if you still have your daily credits you just once you click on this create it will just go ahead and animate the image for you and make the image start moving once you have your animated image ready you have to come back to this place in your dream face and then you choose talk slash sing it and then it will bring you to, to this place once you are here you click on this plus sign to import the image the animated image you want to make talk now so i'll just come to my gallery and then choose this adam and eve stuff that i've already animated and bring it to the dream face now after that i'll now click on this place that says want avatar to say or sing 
and then it will bring me to this place now once i'm here i can either type what i want my avatar to say or my animated image to say here and then choose one of their voices because they have their inbuilt voices here but because i like importing my own voice overs i'll just click on this import here also if you want to record your voice directly you can just click on this place that says record and then you can just go ahead and record your voice over that you want your image to say but i'm not doing any of those ones here i'll just click on this import and it will bring me to where i have my voice overs and then i will choose the one that i want to use and here my voiceover is ready the next thing is just to go ahead and click on animate and wait for it to animate sometimes it animates really fast sometimes it takes really long so it depends on how lucky you are during the day and how busy their platform is okay so now our video is ready let's go ahead and play it and see adam my love i swear this apple is sweeter than all the mangoes in this garden combined I can't believe we've been missing this treasure all this time. The serpent gave me, yes, but forget the messenger. Focus on the message. Taste it. This is so good. Can you guys see this? This is so, so, so beautiful. Now, I want to give us one tip about Dreamface. If you don't animate your image before making it talk, it will just give you a static talking image and you don't want that i've animated one image before when i didn't really know how to use the face very well and the image was not moving it was just static it was just the head that was moving and talking so you don't want to make that mistake make sure that you animate the image and if you have exhausted your daily credits for this one and you don't want to subscribe yet just animate your image in another platform that is free and then come and make it talk here if you want to use Dreamface. now another thing of concern about Dreamface is the this watermark face. and for you to remove the watermark what i usually do is that i would first of all that is after animating my image and i've gotten the image that i want to make to talk i will come to my CapCut app and then i will use this one is to one ratio okay here yeah. i will put my image in one is to one ratio and then slightly use my finger to raise it up so that I, when I animate it under dream face, the watermark will be at this blank space and I can easily cut it off when editing my video. It now, you see, I have animated this image talk. now, this she video now, and you can see that the watermark you. is now showing a down part. So the only thing I need I to do is I will import it back to my CapCut app now, CapCut this editing face? app, and then I will choose 16 by 9 if I'm using the video for YouTube. The same applies for if you're using it for TikTok or whatever platform you're using it for okay and then i will now just use my hand to zoom it in okay, i will zoom it in and make sure that it is well placed in my screen and after that i will go ahead and then look for this adjust and then i'll choose sharpen and then increase the sharpen to 100 so that it will be sharp because you guys can see that the quality was actually a little bit reduced and you don't want the quality reduced i also choose contrast increase the contrast to maybe four or five and then i also come to clarity and increase the clarity to maybe around 10 or 15 or 20. that is how the quality will now become more improved so this is what i have at the end of the day this face don't be deceived i don't exist <laughs> blessing made me from screw can you guys see that so with that the watermark is gone and you have your clear high quality image okay there are actually other tools that you can use to remove your watermark but i've tried some of them and they're really really giving me the good results that i want but if i'm able to find more i'll definitely come and share it with you guys here you guys know i always give you quality information here right <laughs> and then the third ai tool we'll be using to make our images talk and i love this one so so much and this ai tool is dreamina ai you guys dreamina is so so good you guys i love it with dreamina ai you can generate two free talking images in a day and after that you have to wait for 24 hours for it to renew for you to be able to generate another talking image now dreamina ai doesn't work for everybody so you have to try it out and see if it will work for you in your phone. I'm lucky it's working for me. So what you have to do is come to your Google and type in Dreamina CapCut AI and then choose this one that says get started for free or you just click on Dreamina, whichever one. And then you can log in with either your email account or your Google account. And once you are logged in, this is what the interface looks like. This is where it will bring you to. Now, this place now, if you click on this place that says AI image, you will see that these other features are not enabled meaning you can't generate images and you can't lip sync because you are in nigeria that's if you are in nigeria so all you need to do is come to your google play store and look for this thunder vpn it's just like it's telling me thunder fire vpn <laughs> 
so look for thunder vpn you don't need to do much once you download it open it and click on connect and then it will bring out connected and once it's connected and then you come back to your dreamina ai and you click on this drop down again you see that all these features are now enabled can you see now because i want my images to talk i will click on ai avatar this one that has the lip sync sign to it and once i click on it you see it has brought out two boxes for me one with plus avatar the next one speech so i'll click on the first box and it will bring me to my gallery and i will choose the image i want to make talk okay so i will choose the baby image click good and then allow it to load and become visible okay once the image is visible under this box i'll go to the next box which says speech and i will click on it so once you click on it to bring out two options for you generate from chat or upload audio if you click on the first one that says generate from chat it will bring you to this place where you'd have to type in your speech and then choose one of their voices here but because i'm not going to be using any of their voices and i already have my voice over i'll just come back to this place and click on the second option that says upload audio and then it will bring out these options for me at the down part of my screen i'll click on photos and videos if you click on this recorder you'd have to record your voice if you want to say what you want the image to say directly you record your voice here but i'm not recording my voice i'll just click on these photos and videos and it will bring me to all my voiceovers and i'll have to look for my voiceover and select the right voiceover i'll just select it and then it will come and appear visible here after that i'll just come up to this other side that there is this arrow pointing up <laughs> and i'll click on that arrow once i click on that arrow i'll give it time it will start generating my talking image for me it will start generating my video for me so now our video is ready so i'll just click on the video and then you have to come up here to this upper part of your screen that is where you will see the download button you just click on that download and download your video to your phone and then i'll click on open and play my video for you guys to see Normally, babies cry and laugh and make noise. But now, with AI, babies are talking on the internet. Can you guys see this? Like, this is so beautiful. Both the expression, both the energy. Like, this is just so beautiful. I also animated this talking baby image under Digen AI. Let me play the Digen version for you so that you see the difference and really understand what I'm talking about. Normally, babies cry and laugh and make noise, but can you guys see now? Come and see the one by Dreamina. Normally, babies cry and can laugh you guys see the and difference? make noise. Like with Dreamina, you can see now, the expression, with... you can see the energy, but with Digen, it's just like the baby's just saying, Normally, babies laugh and cry and make noise. The baby's doing shakala under Digen, but I still like Digen because Digen is so generous and you can still do a lot of things, like a whole lot of things with Digen. I'm speaking from experience. The intro video you guys watched at the beginning of this video, I animated it using Digen AI, Dreamina, and Dreamface. So I'll just go ahead and play them one after the other so that you guys will watch it and see the difference. I'll play them with their watermarks on so that you know which one is from which AI too. This face? Don't be deceived. I don't exist. <laughs> Blessing made me from scratch and made me talk. She made plenty more like me. Let me show you. This face? Don't be deceived. I don't exist. <laughs> Blessing made me from scratch and made me talk. She made plenty more like me. Let me show you. This face? Don't be deceived. I don't exist. <laughs> Blessing made me from scratch and made me talk. She made plenty more like me. Let me show you. So from those three videos now, which one do you think is actually the best? Please let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this video with someone you think needs to see this. And please tell me what you think in the comment section. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section as well. And in case you are confused about how to generate your voiceover, you can check the video I made on how to create African folk tales stories in the description box. When you get to the video, go to the description box of that video. You will see timestamp. Just go to the place I said how to generate your voice over using ClickChamp and go and watch that part in case you know other parts and you don't want to watch everything in that video. I explained in details how to generate your voiceovers for free using ClickChamp. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!